And I'm like, uh, what do you mean it's contaminated? And then they start hollering it come a gully washer. And I'm like, no, 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 it's not rained. And I said, it's not no gully washer. I said, what have you fools done this time? Mm -hmm. I'm Linda Shepard, Charlie Shepard's wife. I live in Maid, Virginia, and uh, we got married in 1970, and we've uh, had problems with our bodies ever since we've, we've lived here, in which Charlie lived here before I did. My name is Charlie K. Shepard. I live here all my life and uh, raised here, and uh, I worked up that foot man will clean that stuff up in that dust and I'll in come mines. out in that mines and I'll come in and i have that stuff all over my shoes, all over my pants and all over my clothes, in my face. I look like a, you know, tub of before stunk. I took a bath and it stunk, you know. My name is Mitzi Barnett. Um, I live in about quarter mile from Foot Mineral, the old Foot Mineral plant. I have lived there for 35 years. Not in that location, I lived there for 10 years. Um, I grew up on Sunbright Road, Cliff Mountain, and um, I have had a lot of health issues. My name is Maggie Dishner. I've lived here all my life. I turned 50 year old in July. Uh, I live, I don't even know if it's a half a mile from the foot it, 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 it is When we was kids, it, it killed every snake and fish in that creek over. They even turned what they called acid baths out in the creek. My daddy, my granddaddy, my uncles, my grandmother, and Aunt Elsie and all has died with cancer. You are? Uh, Charles Bishop. I worked for Foot Mill for six years from 1966 to 1972, and I, I was a laborer, a lab uh, tech, and many other things. Okay, okay. And I'm Alan Eastep, and I worked for Foot Mill for six years and five months from 1966, I guess, till not when they closed in 72. Okay. And I was a, a laborer and a thickener helper and a warehouse man and a utility man and just everything. You guys are all over the place. Yeah, all over the place. I know that we used to get stuff back in Oak Ridge and it was a, a product grade two. They always told me they use the uh, uh, the lifting six out of the lifting hydroxide for atomic bomb. Okay, that would be isotope six. Yes, and and they use mercury to separate it out. Okay. Hi, um, my name is Sheila Pearson Kearney. People call me Trudy as a nickname while I was growing up in a little town called uh, Clinchport. It's uh, downstream of Foot Mineral. Uh, my brother and I and our neighbors, kids, grew up playing in the water. Uh, we, we would drink from the water because we didn't know any different then. We were just kids. And um, I remember times when uh, there would be dead fish just floating in the water. You know, we didn't know why, but we got in there and would throw the fish around and th hit each other with them. And, take a stick and bat them and you know we just we were kids playing and that was I guess I started sneaking off from my house when I was about four so that would have been 1965 and I moved away in 1978 but during all that time in the summer that's what we had as a play place was a uh, stock creek and we stayed in the water we fished uh, ate the fish that did survive out of it uh, frogs, we'd catch the frogs and have frog legs, and um, we live practically in the summer in that water. So see, when, when that stuff come back, you had to, it was set up like a rock, and you had to cut it out with baseball barrels, mm. and beat it up 
before you could blend so it in. So there was mercury left over in that product coming back from Oak Ridge. Yes. Wow. And you didn't know that. No, I wasn't even, I don't know where I was at. Did Charlie work in I worked in the lab. The lab. And, right. And, um, in 2011, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, even when I, from the time I was age 11, I had um, cysts in my breast. That was extremely painful. But when they closed the plant down, or right before they closed it, they come down here and they broke that holding pond loose. They turned all that water down on my brother and me. Then I heard the water, and I got thanking God, and you know, I, I dozed off. I'm like, Lord, it's rained. I said, because I'm always used to the creek getting up if it comes a flash flood. <laughs> well, I got got out of the car. I'm standing in water up already over my knees. And I grabbed my baby, and I'm holding him, and then I see these idiots coming off the hill, the foot mental people, hollering, get out of that water. It's contaminated. Well, you had a, you had a sight glass where you could look in that hill that you yeah. And, and you always had a, well, I don't know how many thousand degrees it was, but anyway, you always had that heat and dust. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and heat and dust, you know, when they together, uh, uh, will combine, you know, because the moisture in, inside your lungs is a different temperature, and so heat will pull up a lot of that stuff. And if you got a, if you got a deep enough breath, it, it, it kind of, you couldn't breathe. They had a little old mask, but... It wouldn't stay on your face, you know. You just put over your nose, you know. I didn't have no mask, really. Okay. And I believe all that stuff. I come home at wash, and I take the wash, I get it out of my nose and out of my head and everything. How is your breathing doing? I, 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 my breathing ain't doing too good. I had to deal with that until I had double mastectomy in 2011. Uh, going through that was even more worse because we had lost uh, a baby. He died from the heat. Hard. He was my nephew's little boy. My nephew grew up playing in the water too, well, um, drinking the water. Um, I have heart problems from birth. I've had heart problems. I have four kids. Me and my husband have four kids. Um, our oldest one is 13, which was, we lived at, where we live now, just beside there, when he was born. And um, he also has heart problems. Uh, since birth, I had to see a um, cardiologist before, while I was pregnant with each one of my children, actually, um, still, he still sees a cardiologist. He has acid reflex that he takes medication for since birth. Um, my third child, uh, when he was four years old, he had, um, I just dropped him off of school. He started having seizures. Everything was unknown. Nobody knows why. He uh, started season like six and seven days a week. So they sent us to um, Charlottesville, Virginia to see some uh, neurologists up there. Still do not know what's going on. Uh, they did get him on some seizure medication. He did stop having them after that, but he lost every hair that he had on his body. Your vehicle, if you didn't keep your car clean, it eat the paint, it does eat the paint out down the middle. Take turkey time. I, many times I take turkey time to put it in, the, in the water, you know, to get the stuff loose off my car. Wow. And, and like Alan said, if you work seven days, uh, you know you, you better not shave the first day because it just ain't kept alive. Your your face would just be raw. You couldn't you couldn't stand. It. Do you guys ever remember the area around the plant being covered up with dust? Always. Oh, yeah, always. So even the residents living around there were dealing with dust and... You, you will have dust and flash, and, and, uh, and you will have clampers. Uh, 
the flies came from the boars. The clinker came, you know, from the boars to plus the clinker meal where they ground uh, that uh, come out of the kill. That big old smokestack right there on the back from the kill, it was. It was why? It, it was. I mean, and they were something coming out of that thing all the time. Once we got the city water, the other one came along. Um, he is a diabetic, which we found out when he was four. He was diagnosed with um, a type 1 diabetes. So, which of course he's got some significant eye situations too. My oldest son is. I just took him to the doctor Monday to be checked for glaucoma. I, I run into Rufus one day, and Rufus uh, uh, didn't even know me. I said, well, I just don't you know me. I said, many uh, headaches I give you and things like that. He said, no. Do you think that could have been an effect I, of I the think it, I think it would affect his mind. Where he has his issues, they was going to put him on uh, I call mental medicine, we help with maybe mood swings and uh, his anxiety and stuff like that. And when they done his blood work, they come back and ask me, hey, wh "Who's been giving him lithium?" And I'm there like, I looked at my family doctor, and his doctor's been his doctor all his life, and he's like, "Where's Jeremy getting lithium?" I'm like, "Uh, but man, what?" So he told me he's a Jeremy's got lithium too much in him. He's, we've got to figure out some other medication to give him. But it does make sense to me because my whole family has had anger issues. Uh, uh, you, you get ill, you can't control it, and you don't understand why because it's like, it's like you just get so mad that you could just, and you could explode. My brother who committed suicide in 1984 because he had anger issues. So, but we didn't know at the time, we would start, you know, this is how we grew up. And that muratic acid, wasn't that what they had? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that uh, muratic acid, the, you know, that nothing but the apple cider that is strong. You, that wasn't you wash your hands and, you know, get the cost it off of it. You would wash your hands and... Muratic acid, yeah. That's crazy. And with your face, it's all, all you know, it's already raw, and you try to put something in like, and if you got that vision in your, down in your clothes, and it into your fingers, that, and, and, and you just, you know, yeah. It was just all Yeah, I come rabbit. in on the porch, you can look like where you track the rabbit. My crows and shoes were wide at bay. Wow. He said, honey, get your shoes on. Well, I didn't. And when I got out there, I could tell the difference in my feet the quick as I hit that. Mm. It just got, I could stick a pen in the bottom of my foot right now. I wouldn't feel it. But when we was kids, they would turn stuff loose. It looked like white. You would think it was snowed. You would have think it come a big snow in the middle of July. But they say it had no complex, that it didn't bother nobody. But everybody within a so many mile radius and a complete circle has died with cancer, or their kids has got cancer, or their grandkids has got cancer. And I believe it's from the foot middle. So when the older residents are describing this snowstorm-like powder, your house was sitting yes. in that Yes. Room. Yes. <clears throat> um, the doctors kept asking me with Logan, my third one, has he ever been, has he got into any chemicals? Has he got into any chemicals? Because his eye, to this day, he has to see eye doctors very regular because his left eye dilates completely out and his right one doesn't dilate at all. And I believe it's damaged Charlie's eyes. I really believe it really damaged his eyes for a while. I know your neighbor has eye trouble too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, 2002, I started having kidney stones. I have had kidney stones every since. I'm constantly, I would say, I have been treated with UTIs and bladder infections, kidney infections, 
at least 150 times since then. He seen them up here up on that hill. There's a cave up there. They had hoses running in it, and there was liquid going into the cave. And he thought they it started with that they was dumping water, and he kept telling his wife, he said, why would they have hoses, and why would they be putting water down in a cave? I told him what they were doing. They was dumping their chemicals and just... My oldest son has asthma, and he was diagnosed with asthma when he was born. He was on uh, Prozac and treatments from the time he was six weeks old until he turned a year old where he had to take so many steroids he weighed 32 pounds when he turned one year old from the asthma. I have a um, nodule in my left lung. No idea why. I constantly have, well, I have what, pneumonia, pneumonia a lot. And I have um, like nodules in my left breast. Going into the second trimester, which was in January, they let me um, have breast surgery. They could not put me to sleep. They used the um, local lidocaine spray stuff to um, numb me. After I went back for my um, checkup, they found some more that he actually took off in the doctor's office. That sounds very painful. Extremely because, I mean, I had extra strength hormone is what I had for pain. And you don't go through surgery with no pain medicine. And I couldn't take anything to risk, you know, my child's life. I mean, there was no way. They told me that, uh, they asked, kept asking me if I smoked or not, and I told them no. You never did smoke. And I never did smoke. And they told me my lungs was real bad. Another thing, I, uh, I had cancer too. Okay, tell yeah. me about that. <clears throat> well, I went, went to the doctor and they found that cancer on me and then they operated on me. You lost it. Everything. Well, they told me that I had a spot in my breast. And, but I got to go back pretty soon and have that checked again. And that doctor told me on fire when he done it that I'd probably have to have it done about every year. There was a house set right there when you turned in on the on the corner was the closets. This had been several many years back when I was still young. They brought them out because lithium and three other chemicals was in their drinking water, and that's been many years ago. But see, they never said nothing to no one else in the neighborhood. Nothing. Never said nothing. It's just not fair. for a mother to sit back and watch her children suffer is more than it's worth.